Here is my first fall 2012 makeup tutorial. So let's get started by first priming our eyelid. I'm using this Bare Minerals Primetime Color in Chroma Violet. It's a really pretty violet color and it has some nice uh, kind of frosty silver shimmer that I'll really pick up on the eyeshadow colors that we're going to be using. So put that all over your lid and a little bit into the crease. Then take a fluffy kind of rounded crease brush and I'm going to be using this Inglot color which is kind of a mix of purple and brown. It's a really nice shade and it's also matte so it's really easy to work with. I'm going to put that into my crease and then blend it out because it is dark and we don't want it to be too sharp on our eyelid or in our crease. Then I'm going to just take a shader brush and I'm going to take this middle color which is kind of a frosty lilac color. I'm going to put that over the chroma violet base that we have down all over my lid and also go into the corner where I put the already put the crease color and then we're just going to touch up the crease a little bit just by putting a little bit of that darker shade on our blending brush and blending out our crease a little bit more. Then I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of my eye, the outer, actually a little more than half I would say, and then also on the outer part of my upper lash line. And I'm going to blend this out and kind of smoke it and this will just really bring the whole look together and I'm going to put that same color on my waterline. Then I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is just a white base, and putting that on my inner corner so that when we use our shimmery kind of silver eyeshadow, which is this one, it will just really stand out and create a nice uh, kind of view on your eye. And also just blend that a little bit underneath your eye so it doesn't look unfinished. Then you can take any color that you have and just highlight underneath your brow bone to make your eye pop. To finish off the eye look, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara and I'm going to be using this in blackest black and I'm just going to put this all over my top and my bottom lashes and that will complete the eye look. I really like this look, I think it's great for fall. I'm a huge fan of purple and this purple and brown combination really uh, makes any eye color pop. For my cheeks, I decided to use this matte kind of uh, dusty brownish reddish blush. It is by NYX and it's called Nutmeg, so I'm just taking my blush brush and uh, kind of just running the color over the apples of my cheeks and also a little bit further up so we create some definition on our cheeks. Then I love using a highlight on my cheeks, especially in the fall and winter time because my skin just kind of loses its you know radiance from the sun and its tan so I just like to add a little bit to my skin and I think that highlight is a great way to do so. For my lips I am using Clinique's Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry which is kind of a pinkish berry color and then over top I'm just going to add a little bit of a red tint and kind of a red gloss. So that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed my first fall makeup tutorial and rock it! Bye, guys. <laughs>